There are a small number of iPhone settings that can break your iPhone or compromise your personal privacy. Mm -hmm. Literally, we're not exaggerating. Let's start in the settings app, scroll down and tap general, and then tap date and time. What? Date and time could break your iPhone? Yes. yes. Because it's the way that your iPhone handles security, security certificates online, in your mail app, in apps. They all use the date and time, the current date and time, to check to see if the security certificate is valid. If it's valid, it works. If it's not valid, it just doesn't work. And it won't even tell you why. So it's really important to have this set up correctly. Yeah, so just leave that set automatically switch turned on. That's it, that's all you have to do. When you turn the switch off, as you just said, a lot of different things can break and you get no notification. No notification, it's not like it's, so oh, you have the wrong time set because the phone doesn't know. Yep. You're in charge of what time it is on your phone. If you like that tip, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Small act of kindness goes a long way. Next, let's talk about prevent cross-site tracking. I'm gonna tap back to general, back to settings, scroll down, and tap on Safari. Gonna come down here to prevent cross-site tracking. Why should we never turn this one off? Cross-site tracking means that when you're on a website in Safari, if you go to a different website, that first website can track you across all the other websites. So usually these websites have a tracking pixel, Google does it, Facebook does it, we do it. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. Yeah. But if you don't want that to happen, if you don't want to see ads for Airbnb on CNN or vice versa, turn this off. If you like these two tips, please subscribe to this channel. Yeah, we're trying to get to 1 million subscribers before the end of the year, which was David's goal. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I we think can we do could it. do it. I think so With too. your help, we can do it. We need your help. Let's go back to the main page of the settings app again. Let's tap on mail next and a new iOS 15 setting here. Privacy protection, tap on that. Protect mail activity, leave this switch on. Yep, remember we talked about tracking pixels yes. like 30 seconds ago? Well, they can be in your mail app too. Usually it's a hidden pixel or an image, like one by one mm -hmm. pixel. Yep. That's how they do it. So the, the image loads in your email app that you don't see because it's only one pixel. But then Facebook knows that that image loaded because it was loaded from their servers. And so does Google and all these other places. So that's how they track you. This loads your mail through a proxy, through Apple servers, so they don't know that you opened it. Especially if you sign up for an email list and maybe they wanna sell that email list to somebody else. And then all of a sudden, if they have all this information about you, you might start getting a ton of emails from places you've never heard of, places you never signed up for, and it just yeah, fills I mean, up your inbox with spam. I get a lot of emails. David seems to know where his emails come from. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. But mine, I have no idea where they come from. I get emails all the time from people. All it takes is one company to sell the list. And I, I don't really know if this is gonna solve all those problems, but it's a step in the right direction. Absolutely. Next, we're gonna talk about some system services. Let's go back to the main page of the settings app. Tap on privacy tap location services, and tap on, come down here to system services. We've got a lot of switches turned off here. We sure do. know why, card above, description section below. But for now, why are we leaving on emergency calls and SOS and find my iPhone? Well, emergency calls and SOS, David, we are experts here. Because if you're in an emergency, you want them to be able to know where you are. Leave this on, find my iPhone, Apple experts. If you lose your iPhone, you can find it. <laughs> by leaving this one on. Yeah, and share my location. Maybe you have a kid. Maybe. And they get off the bus at three and you have to work till five and you wanna make sure they got off the bus okay. Right. Make sure share my location is turned on their phone. You can actually confirm that they did get off the bus. And right, or at least their phone did. Maybe they, they handed it to their yeah. friend and said, they tossed it, yeah. <laughs> toss it out the window in the front of the driveway. Yeah. Next, let's go back to the main page of the settings app. Just tap these back buttons, upper left hand corner of the screen. Scroll down and tap on messages and come down here You'll see, send us SMS. You got MMS messaging, group messaging. Why are we leaving these switches on? Well, SMS is just text messaging. Yep. Should say like, send text messages. Cause if you turn this off, you're not gonna get text messages. MMS, back in the day, 2002, we were sending picture messages. If you have a friend with an Android phone and they send you a picture, it's not gonna come through unless MMS messaging is turned on. Same thing with group messaging, you're not gonna be able to get group texts. However, I guess maybe you would wanna turn maybe, that Maybe off. that's a benefit sometimes. Especially in the holidays. Yeah. Those are some iPhone settings you should never turn off. Thanks for watching this video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, subscribe to this channel, join this channel. Yeah, because it helps us a lot. It helps to fund our videos and because it helps you to stay in touch with us and to win free stuff as part of our Discord giveaways. Yes, a lot of great perks. Links in the description. Once again, thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.